<sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, can you even believe it? Holy crap! I'm here! <laughs> Hi everybody! Welcome to a another stream! I haven't streamed in fucking forever, apparently. <laughs> Hi everyone! Hi JK! Hi Mini Me! Hi June Sun, how have you been? I've been busy! I've been busy and tired, but I'm here and I'm so happy to be back. Guys, 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 the house has been filled with people for like a week and I finally get the house back so I can stream and do what I want, but there have been people like for a whole week and I finally, I finally have my time. Yeah, yeah, hold up. What happens at Waffle House? Okay, listen, listen, we had a friend visiting from out of state. So traveling by an airplane, it was a long flight and their uh, hotel that they, that they booked was literally just down the street from a Waffle House. So of course, one of the mornings that we go to pick them up, we just ended up being like, well, we're hungry. We want breakfast. Let's go to Waffle House. So we did and it was glorious. It's fantastic. It was everything that I wanted. It's been a long time since I've gotten to go to Waffle House, and now I'm very pleased. I'm very, very happy. I had a wonderful experience. It was great. I missed it so much. Um, what am I? What am I doing? I don't remember the controls again because it's been so long. But we're gonna do our best. Is it? It's a W A S D to move, and then all of my. Extra fun little things are... Oh god. Okay, space is jump. That's grab, okay. I'm gonna get there eventually, guys. It's just gonna take a minute. Okay. It's gonna take me a while to get warmed up, but while we're warming up, I can just sit here and talk. So yes, we had company over. Like, all week long, and I finally get some peace, which I'm very happy about. So that means I finally get to stream again. I've also been doing a lot of other stuff in the background uh, between work and preparing for the convention that's coming up. I've There's been a lot going on. So you got to taste the food and enjoy this. Yes, I was actually conscious this time. I sat and ate and enjoyed the food. I did not black out. I was having a good time. I enjoyed I enjoyed some delicious delicious food. Oh my god, I gotta be careful. And I got to share the company of friends. It was lovely. It was a very good experience. I did not black out this time. I promise. I I sat and I ate and I talked and I shared how much I was enjoying the food and everything else. I did not black out. It was all good this time, I promise. But y'all, the biggest thing that I've been doing besides work has just been convention prep. I've been doing a shit ton of convention prep and I will share with y'all some of the good stuff I got to do. Um, here, hold on, I want this. I want this. What are you? Yes, I want it. Ooh, do I want that? I do. Pardon me. Is it really gonna be that difficult? I want it. Thank you. I want all the goodies. But yes, uh, as you guys have seen, I shared that post a while ago and it's still valid. I will still be attending Fan Expo Cleveland this upcoming Saturday. It's literally this upcoming Saturday. And I'm so freaking excited. And I've been working really, really hard on my cosplay and preparing for it and everything else. And I can't wait to show you guys all the stuff that I've been doing. I'm glad you got to enjoy it this time. When you posted the pic in the community post, I was actually at Golden Corral, so I got to have waffles too. <laughs> Yay, we got to be waffle buddies. Let's go. Oh god, it's playing that really scary music. I don't like it when it does that. 
That didn't help. Ow, that still hurt. I already have a baseball glove. It didn't even do me any good. I just got whacked. Anyway. But yes, the big thing yesterday, I was working on my dress. I got most of it done. Um, I just need to iron it and, and fix it up a little bit and then I'll be good. Ah, ah, God. I'm trying too hard to fo- ah, well, that's what I get for trying to focus too hard. Cool Spelunky! Hi, Crosspain! Good to see you! Sam had waffles last week, too. Waffles are just so good, Mini-Me. Mother! Hi, Indy! Welcome in! Hello, hello! Okay, that was my warm-up round, so it's fine. Everything's fine. But yes, cosplay stuff. Today, I managed to paint some hair clips that I needed. I needed to paint these hair clips for my wig. Uh, last night, I... let's see. Last night, I sewed a bunch of snap closures into the bottom portion of my dress because I... I needed to... It's a really long train on the back of the dress, and I was trying to figure out how to bustle it, and I could not get it to work with the supplies that I had available. So I just got a bunch of snap closures, and I kind of put them in an accordion pattern down the train to just snap it closed while I'm walking around. And then whenever I am just at the convention, I'm not constantly tripping over my own dress. But then for pictures, I can just unsnap it and then, like, unveil the whole dress. <gasps> we have a special guest! Come here, special guest! Come here, special guest! Hi! Hello! So, that's what I worked on last night. The day before that, I... I couldn't iron on the iron-on patches that I bought for some reason, like... It just wasn't sticking to the fabric properly. Luckily though, I had E6000 glue, so I just glued those suckers on. And the placement turned out perfect. It looks great. I'm so happy with it. Um, I also bought a bunch of accessories. The, my favorite thing that came in. I bought it from Spirit Halloween. It is a replica of Harley Quinn's mallet, but it's a purse. It's just a little itty bitty purse and you unzip it from like the side because it's like a cylinder and you can fit, I can fit like my phone and a power bank in there and a bunch of other stuff. And it's just, oh, it makes me so happy. It's just, oh, I'm so giddy about it. And I also have like Harley Quinn themed nails. Later tonight, I'm going to do some cosplay test makeup. Um, the reference images that I'm using aren't actually from the Harley Quinn animated series. I'm actually using um, all the new press release photos from the Folie à Deux, like uh, little teasers that they've been putting out with Lady Gaga's version of Harley Quinn because the makeup is just, it's so good. It's the same direction that I want to go in where it's more like, high fashion i guess guys i'm really excited about this can you tell <laughs> i'm just really excited about it i can't wait it's gonna be great no i don't want you this is what i found let's see well that just won't do thank you do, do, do. Get the spider web out of the way. Yeet. Is there anything over here this way that I want? Hello, special guest. That is my shoulder. You are pushing me. Oh. There we go. Better. But yes, I have been I've been slaving away at this cosplay. 
I think it's going to turn out really good, and I'm very excited for it. Cannot wait for you guys to see it, because I have a feeling you all are going to enjoy it quite a lot. Oh, the other day before that, I also styled the wig, because I bought a wig. I committed to buying a wig, as it was recommended to me by literally everybody that I asked if I should get a wig or not, and they all said yes. Um, so I, I managed to style it. It's in these little ponytails that are also curled. I'm very happy with how it looks. Why can I not get up here? <laughs> And I just, I'm very pleased. I'm like tickled. It's just, it turned out so good and I'm so, so happy with it. What you trying to do, spider? Um, I don't have anything I can throw upwards, do I? I don't know if I can get to that dog. Throw upwards. I'll try real quick, because I think I still have enough time. Aha! Ow! Well, that freaking hurt. Oh, how am I even gonna get up there? I can't. I just took a hit of damage for no reason. Great. This is so sad. You're too far and I'm busy that day too. Don't worry about it! Listen, the, the meet and greet, I planned it as a very... <laughs> I don't want to say super last minute because as soon as I got the tickets, I more or less wanted to post about it. Um, but I, I didn't really expect a big turnout anyway. Y'all, uh, it's not like I'm Bao. It's not like I'm Shoto. It's not like I'm uh, like doing any sort of Niji sized fan meet. No, it's just it's just me. I'll just I just so happens that I'm going to be at the convention. Therefore, just wanted to give that option to anyone who will be there. It's not really, you know, it doesn't have to be a big thing, and I don't think it's going to be a big thing either, so it's fine. Glad I didn't get hit that time. <clears throat> but yeah, no, it's it's nothing major. I, I mostly just did it as a funsies thing. I don't really expect like, drones of you guys to just show up. That's just not really what my, uh, intention is, I guess. How much are the climbing gloves? 8,000? I'll take it. I can afford more rope. What I need are more bombs, so I should stop spending all my money. How do you get over there? Well, I think it's a little late for me. But yeah, the the fan meet and greet is more just super chill. Nothing is, you know, it's not going to be a big event or anything. I don't have like a space booked or, you know, like I don't have, I'm not affiliated with the convention in any way. Oh, that's not good down there. Not getting involved in all that. No bombs! I need bombs! Oh god. Okay, what's going on down here? Ow, that hurt. Should not have fallen that far. But I'm good. Everything is good. Ooh. Um, I feel like I should probably do one of those. Ooh. Oh, it already activated. Okay, good. Fine, I'll take this with me. Oh, yes, I have climbing gloves. Good. Because I'm like, how do I get back out of here? <laughs> Yeet! Come here, you. You're not gonna? There we go. That's what you get. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb of me. That's okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just go again. 
But yes, I have all of my ticket stuff prepared. I have um, put a lot of money <laughs> into everything that I'm going to go do, but I'm very excited for it because I know it'll be good and it'll be worth it. So I'm just really excited. I'm still getting in the groove of streaming again. Can you guys tell that I don't know what I'm doing? It's been so long. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Come on, spider. Idiot. Should have seen that coming from a mile away. And yet. Seriously? Almost fell onto the spikes again, because I'm so good at this game. Can I please get some more bombs? That's where I was struggling last time. I need bombs. Where is- okay, damsel's right underneath the thing. That makes my life easy, thank god. Um, no, I can't get up there without climbing gloves. That's okay. What the? What's else? Do, 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 do. That's a lot of bad guys over there. Well, better get my rock. Can I get my? Okay, I can't get my rock. This is gonna be fun. Come here. And it's just a spider. Spider! Perfect. Yay! But yes, uh, that, that's what I've mostly been doing. I've went on a lot of adventures with friend as well. Um, so, I would say that they're a family friend that was visiting because I, I guess they're not technically directly my friend. I did not friend them first, uh, Bromori did. Oh, also update, Bromori no longer lives in the house. Bromori has moved out. Uh, I would say like 80% of the way there, they still come back and forth to grab some stuff here and there, but more or less they, they have moved out at this point. So it's just me and Mom Mori. Which I'm fine with, you know, it, it's taken a little bit to get used to, but it's not a, it's not an awful thing. It's just a different thing. I've been enjoying it for the most part. Oh god, spider, really? Knock that off. So that's why I am very pleased to have peace and quiet in the house, and I feel less, um, worried about making noise, I'll say. Because before it was always, uh, we had Bromori too, and I felt really bad about when I streamed because I make a lot of noise. But now Bromori isn't really here, so I'm kind of in the clear, which puts me at ease a little bit more. Oh, pup. Hold on, pup, I'll get you. But yeah, we, we did a lot of adventuring. There is now a new favorite ice cream place that we found together, and it is so freaking good, y'all. Normally, I am a soft serve person when it comes to ice cream. I prefer soft serve ice cream way more than anything else. I think soft serve is superior, but in this particular case, this hard serve ice cream that we found is a really freaking good, so can't be too mad about it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go past these spiders as much as I don't want to. Making it quick. Nope. You ain't going nowhere. You go in there. Anything up there I want? Not really. I'm good. I can get out of here before my hubris takes over. 
We, okay, so we went to the hard serve ice cream place that is now my favorite. We explored, what's it? We found a new beach area, which is really pretty. We enjoyed the eclipse. The eclipse was very fun. We got some, got some really cool pictures from the eclipse and enjoyed it. I was actually working during it and I got paid to go view the eclipse. Everybody was evacuated out of the building and we all just went outside and watched the eclipse, which I thought was cool as hell. Ow, there was a spider there. But it was so much fun and I enjoyed it a lot and I'm glad that I got to experience that at least once in my life. Okay. Well, that was not worth it. Oh well. Beep. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, he was alive and now he's not. I do not need to bother that snake. Oh, well, there's not really good options here. I'll wait for both of them to turn around. Ow! Seriously? Ow! Man! That's some BS. Okay, what's going on? Let's see. Why is that the way that it is? Hold on a second. Why are you built like this? Also, I will use it to my advantage. There we go. Ain't it lovely? Lovely jubbly. Well, that wasn't worth it. What else is going on? I'm like so hyper focused on the game. Since when have I ever been this focused on this game? Normally just do whatever I want. And then you guys distract me in chat and then I laugh and then I die. That's normally what happens. So I'm surprised I'm making it as far as I am. I say that as I've made literally no progress and died like three times already, but you know what? It's fine. That's nothing that way. Perfect. Seriously? Um, do I have anything I can throw? Nope, that didn't even work. Shit, well, it's gonna hurt! Ow! Okay. It's fine. I got extra bombs, I'll do it. He didn't even get hurt, let's go. Get in there. Need the lives. My goodness. But how have you guys been doing? I've been away for this long. And I haven't gotten to hear any updates from many of you, and I've missed you guys a lot. I really, really have. I've been missing just being able to stream and hang out and get to relax after work. It's just been doing a bunch of stuff lately. Which it's fine, it's nice that I've gotten to keep busy, but it's different. It's not the same. How do I... Oh yeah, the key's just right over here. Eh. Well, I have that now. I don't know how much real use I'll get out of it, but it's nice to know. I've been busy lately and New Year's is coming. New Year's is coming. 
Wait, New Year's? New Year's for what culture? Can I ask? For my nationality? Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, um, United States, no. Lunar New Year already passed. I was like trying to go through all the different New Years in my head. I'm like, how many more New Years are there? Oh boy. Oh, that crazy guy. Hello, I would love a box of bombs. Ooh, that was expensive. But thank you very much. How much are the climbing gloves? I do not have enough money for that. Can I get back up is the better question. Eat. How do I get over there? I have to bomb to get in there. Not trying to blow up the store and get in trouble. Not trying to do that. Seriously? Seriously? Oh my god! Because of that stupid freaking spider! You gotta be kidding me! I always forget anyway since every day is the same. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to keep track of it if you're not on top of your game. So that makes sense. I just didn't realize there was another New Year's celebration, but that's cool! Happy almost New Year for you! I have a lot of birthdays coming up in the family and with friends and whatnot. I already celebrated one birthday this past week, which was really lovely. Um, I have like two birthdays on the 19th and the 20th. And then I have one birthday on the 23rd. There's a lot of birthdays, y'all. It's a lot. I'm doing my best to keep up with it, but Lord knows. You want to know what it is? I'm very interested in knowing because I'm nosy. <laughs> if I can call it that. Okay, pup, how do I get to you? Oh, Cambodian New Year's! I didn't realize that they had a separate uh, New Year's celebration. That's cool! That's wonderful. Are there any specific, um... I don't want to say practices. Are there any specific celebrations that you guys do? Any specific um, foods that you guys eat? Anything, anything fun that you're looking forward to? I guess it is what I should be asking. But that's really cool. I'm glad that you get to celebrate New Year soon. I don't think there's anything really particular that I've gotten to do for at least the the standard New Year's celebration besides just drink wine <laughs> which that that's that's normal for me that's neither here nor there that's just me enjoying wine what else is new um sir how do you expect me to get up there I cannot I cannot it won't work. It simply will not happen, sir. There we go. Yay! Okay, do I need anything? Not any of those. I want climbing gloves, please. Oh. There are times where the community gathers together each year and do festive things and celebrate. That sounds lovely. That sounds really, really nice.
I'm very excited for you. I hope you enjoy your time. Um, oh, how do I get over there? Just bomb? Oh, that's dangerous. There. That's just more. I'm grabbing a rock before I go, because I trust nothing. Ooh. So yeah, that's my nationality. It's a good nationality. I'm happy for you. I don't know if I personally know anybody else who's Cambodian, so that's really cool. Oh my god, y'all, I just remembered. <laughs> I shared a very similar experience I had at work a little while ago. Like, I don't know if I shared it on stream or not. But ages ago, I went to work wearing this very pretty sundress and pineapple earrings. And I had this lady look at me and be like, you look so Hawaiian. And I was like, uh, I don't know if you mean my outfit or like me, I look Hawaiian and I don't know which I, which is worse. And then literally just the other day at work, there was an older gentleman who looked at me and then also went, you look very Hawaiian. And I was like, God, why does this keep happening to me? Why do people keep coming up and like wanting to talk about me being Hawaiian even though I'm not? Cause this is the second time that it's happened. I'm like, okay, so it's my face. It's my face, it's the way that I look. I get it, whatever. I look Hawaiian, apparently. Ow, that hurts. Was gone for a bit. I finished the season finale of Fear and Journey's End. So sweet. Oh, how wonderful. Yes, yeah, so this is the second freaking time that it's happened where somebody's like, you look Hawaiian. And then I would have to just sit there being like gritting my teeth being like, uh-huh, Hawaiian. Yeah, totally, totally correct. And not in any way, shape or form incorrect. Also, why do I have to explain my nationality to you? Just because you want to ask about it and be nosy like that. You didn't have to bring it up at all. And yet here we are. Ow, okay, whatever. Nobody knows what my nationality is. It happens to me a lot, my siblings and my friends. Yeah, like growing up when I had really long hair, everybody thought I was um, like indigenous or Native American because my mom would always braid my hair just to like get it out of the freaking way. So then everybody thought I was Native American. And then when I brought up that I was Asian, then everybody just assumed that I was Chinese Asian, which they're not technically wrong wrong because my granddad was but that's neither here nor there and then they ask really weird invasive questions because like the, the dude kept going afterwards at work the other day he's like so when did you move here and i'm like i was i was born here in the u.s and he was like, oh, okay, so when did, when did your parents move here? And I was like, well, my mom moved here when, like, like something, something, 20 something years ago. And he started asking about my dad, too. And I was like, why? You're just asking every wrong question. Why are you, why are you talking to me? Why is this happening? Can, can you, can you not ask invasive questions to a librarian for two seconds? It's, it's a lot. It's my dark tan skin, I guess. See, that's, that's the thing. They see the skin color and then they're like, they just make those assumptions. Long time no see, Chris! Chris, did you get my text message? I texted you the other day. I figured that you were busy at work. I'm not actually mad, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, but you should text me back. Um, but yeah. 
And see, I work with basically all white coworkers. I have one other coworker who's not purely white, and that's because she's Hispanic. But everybody's always on my case asking me about my ethnicity. And it's like, why Why do we need to ask anybody about this at any time? What makes this appropriate? This is not a library question. Ask me to find a book for you. Ask me to point you to resources. You do not need to ask what my ethnicity is, but people be wildin'. Yeah, sorry, today's been busy. I came out to one of my managers and coworkers. You came out! Oh, wonderful, Chris. I'm so proud of you. If they don't ask, then they will remain ignorant. It's not that, you know, it's not that I think it's bad for them to ask. I think the way they go about it is wrong. <laughs> Especially just standing there and assuming that I'm Hawaiian and then saying those words out loud. You look Hawaiian. I'm like, and you look like a bitch. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> Can you shut up and leave me alone and don't- You can't just cold bring up my ethnicity like that. Especially if, like, it's a different case if I see a patron and they are also not white. Like, for instance, I had a patron come in and look at me and go, Oh, are you also Dominican? Because they were Dominican. I'm like, Oh, no, no, I, I'm Indonesian. They're like, Oh, Indonesia, that's so cool, blah, 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 blah. That's different than an old white guy coming up to me being like, You look Hawaiian. And I was like, You look like an asshole. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? it that's not not acceptable and uh, for me I'm working I'm trying to help people at a library I don't I don't need anybody bringing up my ethnicity for any reason I'm at work ask me to find you a book or ask me to point you in the right direction do not start a conversation with me about who I am ethnically that's not, that's not the conversation I want to have at work. It's just not. I get a bunch of guesses, but they guess wrong, obviously, and it's sad, understandable. That's the last wrong guess I got from one of my dad's customers. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. I just need them to leave me alone. If they don't have anything, like that is of any importance to that conversation that they want to bring up, then don't bring it up. This guy just wanted to know about me and who I was as if he was trying to, like, start hitting on me or something. Not okay. No, 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 no. If you go, like, oh, I, I, I see, like, your outfit or whatever, and, like, I was curious, are you of whatever descent and I can explain and they're like oh yeah like my cousin is or my aunt is or blah 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 and they like have a reason why they're bringing it up then that's acceptable I would say that that's fine but just cold open hey are, are you are you this thing that I think you are because I'm assuming that you are and also it has nothing to do with any of the questions that I have I just want to know because I'm nosy then, like, leave me alone and don't bring it up, please. <laughs> I don't want it. Hey, June, are you Transylvanian? Are- is this- is this bat racism? Is- is this bat racism? Asking if I'm Transylvanian because I'm a bat? Nah, 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 nah. I'm a fruit bat. I'm just Indonesian. Thank you very much. See, I say that, and then my heritage- comes out every now and again, and it's ugly, and it's bad, but you know, whatever. Hey, a fruity tootie. Hi, Rekka. Welcome in. My manager was so nice and reassuring about it. I'm so glad. I'm really, really proud of you, man. Every time you tell me anything about, you know, like, just you share stuff about yourself, it makes me so happy, because I'm just, I'm proud of you. So much just happened in that one pot throw. Uh, careful. Okay. 
I can make it. Okay, there we go. When I revealed my nationality to my class back in high school, because I was in trade school, and the culinary teacher wants to know each of us. Oh, so you were explaining it, and then did they make it like a thing? Saw this one dude hitting on a McDonald's worker because he thought she was Nigerian. He was Nigerian, and I guess she, uh, he was trying to get a girlfriend. Oh, no! That's, oh, that's so awkward! You know, I'm a private person. I appreciate your pride in me. I love you, dude. I love you more! My classmates were so surprised, and they were like, I'm Asian? What? 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 How? Did I? You know what? I shouldn't be rude. I shouldn't say anything rude, but your classmates... I feel like... I could say a lot of things right now, and I'm gonna hold back because I am a lady of politeness and elegance, and I would never say anything unbecoming. But, uh... They ain't the wisest, are they? I don't know just- just how smart. Just how smart, you know? I keep forgetting I have rope. Ah! Ah! I need to get out of here! Oh! <laughs> well, that was scary. Okay, bubs, you stay there. I looked Puerto Rican because I had my hair cut short like one. See? Like, again! I think we're used to being labeled literally everything in the book because people just don't freaking know. And they think it's, like, acceptable to just be like, yeah, this is- you can totally bring this up and it's fine. It's not. It's not. When I was in high school, I they listed off literally every possible ethnicity and none of them got it right. Is oh, oh. Children can't help what they're not exposed to, too, which is why I'm thankful I watched anime. Yeah, there. I would say that there's a certain level of you know needing exposure so that you know how to act properly in those different scenarios. But also, there's just, there's just a level of, even if you don't get exposed, because you might not just be in the area where they can, you know, mingle like that, just explaining, like, listen, you will see people that are different than you. It is not your business to be asking them five million questions about who they are or why they, you know, are different from you. Just, just treat people normally. Just be freaking normal, please. Don't start anything just because you don't understand. Please. It is such a headache for everybody else involved. It's not fun. Did not enjoy that growing up. There's a kissing booth over there and I can't get to it. I'll find a way. Life finds a way. Um, is there a better way? Oh, well, now I got stuck. Great. If I... Real gentle-like. Ooh! I even got a gem out of that. Yay! Feels very illegal, but... You know what? It's fine. I'm so excited for Saturday. I was just talking about Saturday, dude. You need to call me so that I can like video call and I can show you all the progress that I've been making. You're going to be so excited. They thought it was Hispanic, Vietnamese, Indian, Filipino. Yeah, Hawaiian. Yeah, yeah. So I think in my laundry list of things people have assumed I am, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Filipino, Hawaiian, Puerto Rican, Dominican, uh, just, just there's, there's so many. There's so many. You must despise the show 90 Day. I do! I do! I hate, I hate 90 Day Fiance so much! 
Because all of these white people just go in blind without any cultural understanding of freaking anything and just think, oh, it's going to be fine. And for some reason, mom likes to watch it. I'm like, mom, why do you enjoy watching this? It sucks. It's terrible. Because not only is it trashy reality TV, it like makes a mockery out of anyone who does want to get married who are different nationalities and then like just oh oh i hate 90 day fiance so much don't get me started please don't get me started i don't want to go on a rant about this right now it makes me so freaking angry oh my god it's just oh it's so bad it's so bad i hate it i hate it it is so terrible Oh god, how am I gonna do this? Oh! Oh god, this is- uh. Oh god, ah! Shit! That's so hard! Oh, yeah, I need a minute. Not only that, but most people on there are single for a reason. They just always be fighting! All of them always be fighting! It's definitely the dark skin and having it makes you look younger. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't watch it anymore. It's just TLC taking advantage of broken people. Yeah. Yeah. Those people are also totally fucked. All of them that are on that show. None of them. I don't think any of them need to be dating or marrying anybody. All of them need to work on themselves first. There ain't no way. You should not put any of those people on a dating show. None of them need that. No, they need therapy. And they need they need money to like improve their living situations without exploiting them in their crazed states. It's just, oh, I don't like 90 Day Fiance. I do not like it. It makes me so angry. Oh. Did not think I was going to get that fired up about anything on this stream. And yet here we are. I guess it's unavoidable sometimes. Oh, how the hell am I gonna get up there? Here we go. <laughs> You're welcome, I'll be here all week. God damn it, JK, this is all your fault. I can't believe you'd do this to me. How do I get down there? Oh, wonderful. Glad I don't need that. I heard the damsel. I actually recently learned and found out how to say are you single, which had me dying and surprised. Like in in terms of like phrasing it better or just the phrase are you single? Because that's just a wild thing to say to anybody. But I, I get it. It's wild in general to be like, are you single? I feel like it's different if you do not have the intent on dating the person. But if you're just like, if you're asking with the intent, just the phrase, yeah, it's, it's wild. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just blowing up everything, aren't I? It's pretty lovely. Not gonna lie. Yes, that was enough to get through. Let's go. Me, me and my girls come through. Let's get this. I was like, Ayo, if any of you motherfuckers come up to me during the convention trying to hit on me, being like, are you single? I'm gonna fucking lose it. Remi remi reminder, Mod Chris is going to be with me, like, the whole time. Do not be acting up, or else. Bundle of rope. 
But then I texted my manager at the end of the day and said, thank you for everything, blah, blah, blah. You made me comfortable. She texted back if I ever need to vent to her or talk. I could. She's awesome. Chris is going to fucking drop kick you. Mod Chris has hands rated E for everyone. Yeah, y'all don't try nothing. Come on now. I'm trying to be civil at a convention. And I read over those rules. The rules said if you do anything that's anywhere near harassment to anybody, you are going to get kicked out for the day. See, that is not acceptable, so don't you be trying nothing. Not that I think you guys would, because y'all are darling and would never do such a thing, right? Y'all would never do anything like that. Grab that real quick. Got another rope bundle. I guess we're just gonna go down this way. I don't know where the exit is. Uh, down this way? I have to go past all the spiders. Okay, pup, you're gonna face that way and just run. And I will grab you. Please don't get shot. Well, never mind. Uh, I will like the compass. I'll take the mystery box, why not? Ooh! Wow, I can fly now! Yippee! Why is there an arrow trap right next to the exit? Who thought this was a good idea? Well, at least I survived. This discussion has prompted me to randomly ask people I've never met if they're mentally healthy. It's an important question. Are you mentally there? They're gonna think that you're some sort of, like, whack psychologist just trying to get more clients. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna expect the rejection, but I'm happy living a single life. Super Indiana Jones. Yes! Just some casual arson and felony speeding. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. It's all good. It's all fine. Okay. Okay, so it's less like flying, more like gliding. Ooh, there's gambling. I love gambling. Spin that wheel! Oh, the prize is a jetpack. I just want more money. Please? Damn it. Fine. I see how it is. Oh, the gold. Oh god, why does there have to be a scorpion right next to it? Uh, I'm gonna try to get you out, dude, but I make no promises. There we go. Don't get blown up! Okay, good. Yippee! You get in there. I mean, I think it would be very funny if any of you guys came up and was just joking around. But I'm gonna be really weirded out if anybody's, like, genuinely trying to hit on me. Explosive solve everything. You're right, they do. Oh god, well. Sounds like they're causing some problems down there. Don't know what's happening, but we're gonna find out. Now, what in the... Ow! Well, that freaking hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Can I stop falling? A lot just happened there. I don't know what half of that was. For hire? Clovis? Come on, Clovis. Let's go.
There's so much just happened there. Clovis, you're just gonna die immediately, aren't you? You're not gonna fight nothing. Uh, nothing I need in the shop. Clovis, you gonna get him? Whoa, whoa, you're crazy, you're crazy! Oh, well, he can't jump that far. Oh god, oh god, oh god, that's what the explosions- oh god. There's another one over there. God damn it. Oh well. People in recent years have mistaken me for being British. I take the compliment. Are you not? I don't blame anyone for having a love at first sight moment and for trying, but I mean, no, I, you know, but there, there's, you can probably tell by body language when enough is enough though, right? Like, there, there's, there comes a point. When you're like, okay, n no more of that, please. Thank you. No, I'm from Texas, the South. What? So why are you speaking British English? The hell's going on there? Is it because of how you look or is it because of the way that you talk? Because those are two very different things. If it's because of the way that you talk, I question what kind of English was taught to you. Because that's very specific. Nice. I think it would be very flattered if someone genuinely was like, I saw you and you're just so pretty and I think I'm in love with you and I'll be like, haha, for real, for real? You don't mean that. That'd be wild. <gasps> I knew the dog would be up here. Let's go. Get in there. I don't know, people just think I sound British. I'm so tempted to listen to how you talk and to verify this. I need to know. It will drive me insane. Oh, that was dangerous. Can I please just, just there? Okay, thank you. or given that you've actually been somewhere in life, I doubt that you'll think I sound British in the slightest. What, just people around you in Texas think you sound British because they don't they don't know any better? Is that is that what I should be understanding? Okay, exit should be somewhere. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get moving. Hello, I would love your finest bombs. Actually, I want the other bag too. Thank you very much. As much as I want to fall in love, I'm just not cut out for love and I'm not much of a gentleman. Listen, listen. I, I am a romantic and I would like to believe that, you know, for every person that exists on the planet, even if they haven't found the right someone yet, there there will always be at least one other person that they can click with and create that bond. They just haven't found the person yet. 
And we are in an age of technology where connecting with other people has never been easier. It is so easy to get on the internet and meet new people and talk to new people constantly. It might not be like right near you, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. It doesn't mean that there aren't options out there. If you want to make it work, then you can make it work. But it's all it's also the process of finding the right person. But you know, I'd like to believe that there is a person, you just haven't met them yet, and that's okay. Not everybody is supposed to get to the finish line at the same time. That's just not how life works. So it's okay. Why are there so many freaking spiders on this level? My god. I will spare you all of my self-deprecation. You better not start, Chris. Where the hell? Ow! Yo! The, ah, ow, ow. I just keep falling. Okay. That's an option? Sure! Just keep freaking falling! Why does my body bounce like that? Don't like it. Well, at least I can get some more money. I'd love to get some more rope. Seriously? chat right now wild absolutely wild also no i'm not taking a chance with all those freaking spikes i ain't doing it imagine the wildest stories of how you and that person met listen i do have at least one pretty wild story but i don't know if i should share it or not <laughs> If I should, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get too embarrassed if I if I do. <laughs> oh gosh. Do you have any rope? No rope. But at least I got climbing gloves, so you know. Equivalent. Now what the heck is going on over there? A whole lot of nothing I want. <laughs> You're here. There's no is that what we're doing right now? Ow! I got... Y'all got me distracted with Selene on! Ah! I'm in an unusually good mood today. If you share it now, I will not roast you. Oh, so that... Just because you're in a good mood, so you won't roast me. Is that how it is? God damn it. I see how it is. I'm down here. That's what I thought. You. I think Mod Chris already knows this story. I'm pretty sure. But, uh... <laughs> there's a certain someone that, uh... I was, I was having a moment of weakness where I was, I was really lonely and I got back on my, on my dating app nonsense. And I was scrolling through like forever trying to find somebody and I used up all of my likes for the day. I couldn't swipe anymore. And of course, the very last one that pops up right after I use all of my likes is like a real winner in my book. I, I love everything about them, everything that they have to offer. And I go, shit, if I close the app right now, it's going to refresh and I'm never gonna see this profile again, and I'm going to be heartbroken if I never get to speak to this person. So in that moment, I decided to purchase, <laughs> to purchase the premium version of the dating app and use a, use like a super like, on this person and we matched thankfully i didn't have to wait because they they had already liked my profile and i immediately like started the messaging conversation with i need to see you like as soon as possible 
I think that you are gorgeous. I think that you are very intelligent and that we really click. I we need to schedule a date like now. <laughs> and we did. We we went on a date after like maybe two days of talking and I smitten as a kitten. Y'all, it was great. It was fantastic. So uh sometimes money works. <laughs> That's all that I'll say. Who's this bat showing up in my notifications? Greed, I have no idea. I'm just the bitch who makes the biscuits. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know nothing about any of that. Also, I'm gonna go turn my light on. Hold on. Hi, special guest. Hi, special guest. It's my special guest. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, baby. You listening to mommy ranting? Hi. Hi. What? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, gosh. Oh, to be young again. JK, you say it as if you're like Peepaw's age. Not to bring Peepaw into this, but you know. I assume that he was. <laughs> Oh my god. No, I have not taken anybody on a date to Waffle House. I'm sure that I could if I really wanted to. But no, I have not taken anybody to Waffle House as a date. That, that'd be real embarrassing for me. Ain't gonna lie. They don't need to see me like that. The only tragedy to the story? Shut up! Shut up! Leave me alone! I knew y'all were gonna clown on me! Stop! Leave me out of this! Ow! God damn it! This is what I get. I got squished by a frog. I can't believe you guys would do this to me. Why would you do this to me? So cruel. For what? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Okay, let's see. We've got my himbo over here. What? A date at the Waffle House would be cute. I feel like, yes, it would be cute. Um. If I were to take somebody to the Waffle House as a date, I would I would need to be with that person for a long time before that becomes an available option to them. When you first start dating someone, I, I at least for me personally, I like to pull out all the stops. I'm like, we should go on a picnic at the beach together, or we should check out this really awesome restaurant. We should like do all of this fun, more like touristy stuff in a way, I guess. Like I, I, I pull out all the stops. Waffle House is like, we've been dating for like a year now. I want to go to Waffle House. That, that's what that is for me, anyway. Places like Waffle House is where it's at. Nothing extremely fancy. Gotta live wild and have fun. I don't know. Like, that's just not, like... If my date were to suggest going to Waffle House, I would immediately say yes. I'd be like, yeah, of course, Waffle House sounds great. I am totally okay with going to Waffle House. I think that it's a great choice. I think we're gonna have fun and it'll be like a let loose kind of thing. If I'm the one suggesting the date to the other person, like I wanna be the one who really spoils them being like, we're going someplace nice. I want you to dress nice. I will pay for everything. Like we will go have a very nice time together. Do you know what I mean? Or like, even if it is more low key, like doing uh, the beach picnic, like I'm gonna be extra as hell about it. There is no in between, at least for me. For me, that's, that's how I operate, I'm sorry. 
I don't know if that's a popular opinion, but it's mine and I have it. We've gotta find a partner that's strong enough to fight in the Waffle House parking lot. Oh, Ayamare. Listen, if she could be my wife, I'd have everything that I'd ever want in life. All I need is her. I'd be so happy. I would be so freaking happy. Honestly, first day, I wouldn't typically do Waffle House unless we were friends first and I know they'd want low-key kind of stuff. Exactly! Exactly. If I'm like... I want to put in a lot of effort when I first start seeing somebody. And not to say that I won't put in that same amount of effort once we've already been dating for a long time, but it, it's different. Oh god, I just screwed myself, didn't I? Oh god. This is dangerous. Get in there. No! Oh, God! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh, God! I forgot that he was behind the counter. Oh, no. I wish I was a psychiatrist so I could pick that apart so much to unravel. What? What? Me? Me and, and all, like, my views on these things? You want to pick me apart? I was going to go somewhere else with that comment, but you know what? I will refrain. It's best. It's best if I just hold off. I'm not trying to get in no trouble today. Not trying to, anyway. Leave my lady alone. Busy being stuck in a cobweb. I can take it. Nah, 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 nah. No, I shan't. I shan't. I shan't. Where the hell am I going? Lady, you wait there. There we go. Perfect! Ooh, baseball net. Now I can throw things. Um, we're just gonna go around. Oh, god damn it. No! Damn it! I've dealt with far worse than cheeky fruit bats! Okay, don't you be calling me that. Nah, 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 Cheeky. Can't be calling me that. Can't be doing that. Yeet. Nice. What's over here? Nothing! Okay. Yep, beep, 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 beep. I heard the damsel. I don't know where she is. We're gonna find her in a minute. Also, yo! I didn't get to share this yet. Guys, I got to watch Rango for the first time the other day. It was so good. Who, who said that that movie was allowed to be as good as it was? That movie's good as hell. And for what? And for what? It's a good ass movie. Okay, ma'am. Hold on one moment. I'm not trying to get my shit wrecked. There we go. I'd be blowing everything up, God. Okay, yeah, I needed to blow that up anyway, because the exit's over there. Good, good, good. Now, hold on, 
on just a second, JK! Now hold on a damn minute, this is not that kind of stream, you cannot be saying that <laughs> You need to control your- Oh my god. Nah, 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 nah. I come back from being away for like a week. And I just- mm, I was focused on my game, thank you very much. It was not a delayed reaction. I was focused, and I did good, and I passed the level. You can't- Can't- Nah, 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 nah. Shut up, Rekka. Leave me alone. I can't live like this! It's fucked up! Why would you do this to me? It's so fucked up. What the fuck? Just trying to live my life! I don't deserve this. I do not deserve this. Too late! Any response now is nullified! No, 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 You can't do this to me! You can't do this to me. What the fuck? So fucked up. There we go. Now I'm up. I need bombs. Thank you kindly. Wait, there's a there's like an area over there of stuff that I want. Oh god. My greed. Not you, greed. I'm talking about my own personal greed. My hubris. There we go. Now I can get more bombs. Oh, you gonna give me some rope? No, you're gonna give me a, a gun? I don't know what kind of gun that is. Tis be done, my friend! It's best to move on and watch the sunset. I can't believe this. How does this work? Oh, it's just a web gun. I don't need that. I don't need a web gun. Yeah, I got my rope. Wreck up! Do not make me look at chat right now so that I can time you out. I am busy. Can't be doing that shit. Come on now. Well, I just figured out why the ground beef I bought was on sale. No, Chris, is it already bad? No, nasty. Nah, 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 nah. That's nasty. Yuck. I just bought the pack a few days ago and it's already bad. I'm sorry, man. That's fucked up. Do we need to go buy more groceries when I when I stop by? We can go on a grocery run if need be. I'm not opposed to that. Ah. Yeah, you didn't eat it, right? You didn't consume it. I sure hope that you didn't. I was gonna make Hamburger Helper. What are we gonna get? I don't know. Just in case you want to. I wish I knew where the exit was. I'm gonna go this way, because I don't want to go that way. Oh god. Seriously? The hell's going on there? Well, that's one way of doing it. Hi, yes, more bombs? Thank you. I did not. It was gray and it smelled and it smelled bad. Oh no. 
I've eaten off beef before the farts after were fucking lethal. Oh no. No. I almost made a fatal error the other day because I made a big thing of pasta bake and I was really craving it. Ow! Seriously? And I, instead of refrigerating it like you should, I forgot. And then of course the whole thing went bad and I felt really awful about it. I got a new character, let's get out of here! Well, I died. But at least I unlocked a new character. What does she look like? How do I... Glad I get my beef straight from a farmer. Do you buy, like, fresh beef from a farmer? I know there are, like, Amish people you can buy, like, half a cow from. How do I... how do I change my character? Um, let's go to the main menu? I want to just see the new character. What does she look like? Oh, she's cute! She's a little nerd! I kind of want to try her, because she looks cool as hell. She's a pirate lady? I love her vibe. She's cute. By the way, again, if you need anything from my place of work, make a list so we can get it. I don't know what y'all sell there. I don't know if I'd need anything from there. Not that I can think of anyway. I'll just have to come up and visit again at some other point when I actually know the your, your inventory, because I don't know. It's nothing that I've needed, at least this past couple weeks. I might be able to make a list for Mamori of stuff that she wants. Oh, the outline of my heart's a different color too. It's purple. That's cute. Didn't even know it would do that. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it just for that. Cleaning supplies, gardening shit. No, I know that, but I haven't needed any of that. I haven't needed it, so I haven't made a list. Ow, I didn't know there was an arrow trap right there. Great, fantastic. Just get out of here while I still can. Don't you make that chronic mauled at me. He ain't even here. Don't you make that face at me what I do. Oh god, I'm having a moment of deja vu. It's happening. Oh god. Speaking of deja vu, uh, I was being <laughs> greed? <laughs> I was being uh, really melodramatic like a couple days ago, I would say. And uh, in the process of doing that, I ended up listening to all of Olivia Rodrigo's discography, which, fantastic. It's wonderful. I enjoyed every last little bit of it. I learned a lot about myself. I really needed that in my life, and now I'm dead. Great. Your mom or your sib need anything? I mean, mom will probably want some gardening stuff, but I have to ask her what she needs. Um, she'll probably want, and I know she talked about getting like an arch, like a gardening arch, so that we can grow a bunch of either cucumbers or something that grows like really easily through all the trellises of it. I'll try to find a picture and see if you guys have something similar. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know. Seriously? There we go. We also have seeds. Yeah, she'll probably want some seeds. Do you guys- you guys have, like, already started plants too, right? Just like the little pre-grown whatevers. That's probably what she's most interested in. Do 
keeping this back. I want it. I hear the dog, but where is the dog? Here's the dog. the gardening guy tomorrow. Yeah! I know Mom Mori will really appreciate it. Seriously? had any caffeine today and I woke up relatively early and now I'm suffering the consequences of that. If it was within budget I would go to my favorite coffee shop like right now and just get something but unfortunately I'm saving all the money that I can for the convention because everything at convention costs money. Withdrawal? I mean... It's not that I want to call it withdrawal because I'm not like a regular, regular coffee drinker, but at least the past couple days, because we've had company over, I've found myself drinking coffee because we're just running around so much, if that makes sense. We're just doing so much stuff that requires having energy and I just, I needed to, you know, do fucking something about it. Whammo. Eh, 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 give me a second. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at this game. Just slightly. Coffee got me sick as a kid? Oh no. Can't have any coffee now. No coffee ever. I'll just get the whole box. I have to drink a monster every fucking day. Dude, that's gonna rip up your insides. That's not, that's probably not very good. I mean, the same thing could be said about basically anything. Taking anything on a daily basis, if it's not prescribed medication, it's gonna wreck your shit. A monster and like a whole you drink a whole can an entire can that's a lot I can't really stand the taste of energy drinks so I just don't drink anything never liked it my dad thought he accidentally killed me with it well that's not good if, okay skirted by it ow no come on Seriously? I have no idea where I'm going. Is that danger? A little bit. But I can do this danger first. My insides are gonna be ripped up anyway. One monster a day ain't gonna do nothing. I do two a day, June. That's not good either! A whole can at 7.50 a.m. on the dot. <laughs> no! 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 It's so bad. Caffeine used to make me sick. I found out I'd been consuming it on an empty stomach. Yeah, you can't be consuming coffee on an empty stomach. Don't tell June about my coffee intake. Listen, it's like a joke. Basically anywhere where you work, where it's like, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. Uh-oh, I'm on my second cup of coffee and like all those kind of jokes. 
But like sometimes I I genuinely worry. I'm like, are y'all y'all good? Do y'all need help? If this is a cry for help, just say the word. This cannot possibly be good. It worries me. I know it's very normalized. However, chai latte any- okay, well now- <laughs> can't be tempted. Chai- oh, chai lattes. So wonderful. Chai lattes, my beloved! What's not to like about a chai latte? You know what? I'm gonna set you down first, real quick. Oh! This is why we can't have shit in this house! No! There were spikes right there! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Oh yeah, I had to write a witness statement yesterday at work. That's not good. I mean, yes, but it's unrelated. Mm. June, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Oh god. It's either monster or I die at work. I know, and I don't want you passing out at work either, but god. None of it seems terribly convenient or nice. Why'd I do that? Ugh, okay, well, I lived. I lived, bitch. Why are you gonna be right next to the exit? Nope. Bye. Out. God, I feel really guilty about that dog. Oh no, that dog. Oh, well that already got activated for some reason. Yay. Must have been an enemy. All right, what's going on? Well, none of these are very good options. Let me grab a. Just grab this. That's fine. Nope. You come get me? <gasps> A boomerang! How fun! You gonna come get me? Come on, bud. That's what I thought. No, no, ow! That's on me for being dumb. It's because I witnessed someone get hurt, so our store is no longer 147 days safe. No! Y'all lost the streak! No! That's terrible. Was it another employee? Or was it like a, a, a customer? Because I feel like it's different if it's like, oh shit, a customer got hurt versus one of our employees got hurt. You know what I mean? I just died again. Great. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. Yay. <clears throat> okay, pup. Hold on. Also, guys, I've fallen off the deep end. I have never played Baldur's Gate once in my life, but YouTube has decided to recommend me videos, and now I'm in love with Asterion. I can't help it. I have never played Baldur Gate, Baldur's Gate once in my life. But you're goddamn right if you, like, try to convince me to look at Asterion, I'm just like, wow. Wow. Just, just apex. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Truly. Truly a beautiful thing. What's not to like? You can play Baldur's Gate on Saturday? If I get to play Baldur's Gate, I'm gonna be sitting there the whole time just making my D&D &D OC. Just the whole time and just being like, Asterion, you need to fall in love right now! 
Y'all need to fall in love right now. This shit ain't gonna work if you don't. You must fall in love. There is no option. You have no choice. I need it. Excuse me, buddy. Exit, 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 yay! He gets all the ladies. He's just, he's such a fine specimen! And he falls under one of my favorite categories, which is previous theater <laughs> you, Do you not look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? You look at Asterian, that's previous theater kid energy! Speaking of getting hurt, my dad dropped a two by four on my head. Ow! I hope that you're okay. Jesus Christ. I thought you said he wasn't your type. Listen, that was just based on pure physical attraction, just looks alone. And from what I had been told about him, but now that I have watched the clips, heard the voice, learned the story, Got me twisting up my hair, kicking my feet, giggling, all that. So, ooh, it's, just, it's that one fucking uh, TikTok with that guy. Can I please bite a chunk out of that ass? <laughs> oh, I, I love him. I love him so much. I can't help it. Oh, no. Oh no, I love him so much. I love him in both of his forms. Bo both his, like, stay a sweetheart forever and become your own person. And also the rule the entire fucking universe you are so evil and I love you form. I love both of them. They're both good. He's such a drama queen. I'm here for it. Such a drama queen. Disrespectfully, I would let Asterion destroy me. Disrespectfully, I would let really any of them destroy me if they really wanted to. I think if I had to rank like my favorites, I would have to say I really like Asterion. I really like Halson because he's just, he's a bear. Like an actual literal bear, but also a bear. Um, who else? What's not to like about Carlac? She's a sweetie and she's so pretty. She's so pretty and strong and just wonderful. What's not to like? Um, I like Shadowheart because she's very pretty and elegant and also Fussy in a good way? I don't know. It's something about Shadowheart, man. I get it. I get the hype. Am I really down to one bomb? Seriously? Been using up all my freaking bombs for this? Oh, I need to go get more ones. Have you seen the bear scene? I saw a little bit of it. There's a lot going on there, but nothing that I am explicitly opposed to. It's quite, quite strange. But Lazel, I have not consumed enough Lazel content to personally have a um, an opinion yet. I know she's been through a lot, though. Also, I've seen some Gale content, but he's kind of... Kind of boring. <laughs> just a little bit boring. I need a little bit more spice. Asterion just, he he checks all the boxes. I just love Neil Newman. How, how can you not love Neil? Neil! Neil! So fantastic. Being double teamed by Karlak and Asterion would be on my bucket list. How can it not be? Don't tell her you can have both Halson and Aster- Huh? 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 The, the what? The what? You could do a what now? Hello? Wait, hold on a sec. Hold on a damn minute. What do you mean? Hello? 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 What do you mean? What do you mean? Gail and Will are boring. Okay, I kind of like Will, though. I feel like Will 
is the more laid back version of Gale. Gale is just like, I don't know. He's just, he's just boring. He's weak sauce. I fucking love Lazelle. She's a slow burn. I don't know if I can put myself through that. I can appreciate the art form of it. I do not know if personally I have the willpower to uh, to go through a slow burn. I don't know if I can do it. I'm sorry. I could fucking try, but it would it'd be hard for me. Okay, let's see. Oh god, why are there so many spiders everywhere? What the fuck? Ah! They're freaking everywhere! Why? Bomb bags! Please, 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 please. Anyway, that happened. Her eyes went twice the stream. You listen, listen. No, no will is a noble son. How can you not fist fight your lover to prove that you're worthy of her love? I just, I don't, that's not really the kind of romantic gestures that I'm about. I'm sorry. Also, I know previously, Chris, I had said that I was totally up for Raphael and his bullshit. I'm not anymore. I know who that man is, and he's a fucking liar. I don't want that in my life. I do not want that in my life. I don't need that energy. So negative, so awful, so bad. I don't need that. All I need is a Starian, and I'll be happy. He just- he gets me. No shit, June. Listen! Listen! This was before I had consumed any content, knew what was going on. Oh god, I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm gonna get wrecked! Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna get wrecked! No! There goes my body. Shit. Where else was I supposed to go? Although or in the red, that's a villain that I can get behind. Or that you want behind? What other villains are there? Because I know the... The ultimate villain for Asterion is Cazador, and he's not... No, 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 no. We don't like Cazador. Fuck Cazador. We do not support Cazador in this house. Um... I don't know if I know any of the other, like, villain villains. Cause like, I don't really know the plot. The plot is just Asterion and he's just pretty. That's the plot. I don't know any of the other plot and I don't need to know any of the other plot. Also, everybody got brain worms or something? Is that a plot line? Everybody got brain worms? I feel like that's a plot line. Don't know what's going on there, but you know, everybody got brain worms. Should villains ever be supported? Listen, I love supporting women's rights, but I equally as much support women's wrongs. If there's a hot villain lady, then who am I to to deny them the the pleasure that is dominating and taking over the world? Who am I to deprive them of that? You know? I'm just a nobody. Doesn't matter. Ah, yeah. Although or in the red, that's a villain. Raphael's a ninja tur ninja tur <laughs> No! What do you mean? You're telling me you don't support Lady Dimitrescu? Yeah, exactly! You're gonna look at her and tell her that she's wrong? She's just living her life up in her mountains, drinking her blood wine with her three beautiful daughters that she made, 
and she just had not a care in the world. We should support her. Orin, the guy who sold Carlac. Thorm, Shar, I guess, Vlykith. Okay, Shar! I've, I've seen Shar. Shar is, yeah, I get it. Let her call me a stupid man thing and make me into wine because I support it. You're so excited to see Maggie, aren't you? <laughs> You're so freaking excited to see Maggie, aren't you? I've never felt more excitement in your bones than in this very moment. And I'm sure it'll only multiply the closer that we get to the convention. Listen, I feel the same way about getting to meet Alan. I can't say shit. I cannot say shit. I am so freaking excited for my meet and greet tickets that I bought. June, I've been trying to see this woman for two years. Listen, I get it. I get it. And it's a wonderful thing. It's a fantastic thing. I mean, I'm probably also going to buy the meet and greet tickets to see Alejandro. So I get it. I get it. Y'all, if you have not checked out the guest list for Fan Expo, you should. There are some real, real fantastic people on that list that I am quite excited to see and meet and enjoy time with. Just very, very thrilled about it. Okay, you need to go there. I'm guessing the exit is the other way. Yep. Great! There we go. I fucking love Maggie Robertson. Okay, she voiced Lady D and Orin the Red. Okay, I'll calm down. Oh, she did vo voice Orin. I kind of really love the fact that both Neil and Maggie got to be voice actors for Baldur's Gate. It's just, it works so well. And I'm so happy for them. Seriously. Try that shit again. I feel my support for women villains weakens a bit when they brutally kill my family and pillage my home, but that's just my opinion. It's different when they directly harm you, but if you have no connection to them and they're just off doing villainous shit that doesn't matter to you, then like, is it really that big of a deal? Listen, everybody has their problems. Nobody's gonna have a 100% stellar record. I get it, it's okay. We, we can make amends, it's all right. Everything will be okay. It doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. It's okay. Just looking at my pookie of a of a villain, just being like, it's okay. I won't let them hurt you. It's okay. Don't know who Lady Dimitrescu is, but the only woman beautiful enough to turn me evil is V from Arcane, and she's a good person. By the way, Lady D was her first ever voice acting job. That was her first voice acting job? That's crazy. Good for her. Out of anything to be the first opportunity in that field, perfect pick. Just absolutely stupendous. Thank you. Ow, seriously? That's some bullshit. No, 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 no. Knock it off. Leave me alone. Okay, well, I can't get to Mr. Man's over there. Not without using bombs. And do I really want to? I guess I am. God, the arrow's just freaking sitting there. Not doing anything. 
Well, now I need to use another rope. God damn it. I'm so good at this game. Look at me. Not Pookie! Listen! Asterion can be my little Pookie bear. Does it matter? It affects nobody else but me. Yubi took a big chance with her and she won tons of awards and made the game go mega viral. How can you not be in love with her? So fantastic. So freaking fantastic. Out of anything to be her first job. It's just, ugh. So freaking good. <laughs> Lady T is hard to voice act because of the amount of range she has to go from calm to screaming in seconds, so Maggie's extremely talented. Then Orin is just blood hungry. Well, you know. Again, we all have our faults. That doesn't make us bad people. Sometimes there's just insatiable bloodlust. And, you know, gotta find ways to combat that. If it requires the blood of many, then so be it. You know? Y'all, I'm a bad influence. Don't be listening to me. It's not worth the issues later on down the line. Okay, there we go. Ow, seriously? Why are there so many of them? Get out of here. But yeah, I fucking love Maggie. I'm so excited you get to meet her. Are you gonna tell her about all the other things that you bought? Because that would be hilarious. As of now, Asajj Ventress in the Bad Batch does it for me. Okay, well now I need to Google this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need images. I see. I see. I get it. I get the hype. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. She will know how much I love her and her Dimitrescu family. Yeah. It'll be a beautiful thing. I don't own anything else by Alan, though. I feel like I'm gonna be the the odd one out in that regard. No, I'm not even gonna try for it. It's not worth it. Why is he still gonna be alive? Come on now. Okay, God. Ugh! Okay, I made it. God, that's so anxiety inducing. I can't, I can't. Oh, well, great. I fell and died. Great. Yay! Gray women. Kind of hot. Yeah. They be gray. You're dressing as his ex, too? Should have cosplayed as his, as his new girl? Listen! Listen! Because then all I would have to do is, like, curl my hair and wear scrubs and have two kids. <laughs> I don't... I don't partic... Like, that's not... I'm gonna walk around and they're gonna be like, why is there a nurse walking around with her two kids at a convention? Not no. No 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 no. Now you know what would have been really interesting and also messy as hell is if they tried to introduce punchline instead of Maria and him being like I have I have a new boo and it's punchline. Now that would have been fucked up, but they did not go that route for the Harley Quinn animated series. That would have been effed up though. That would have been real effed up. But no, I was always going to cosplay Harley. Harley is just my girl. That was never gonna change. I cannot get up there. Me and my hubris.
Well, that did nothing for me. Oh, well. I'll take this. Why not? For all the trouble that I went through. Hello, sir. Well, come back. Don't you go running away now. I'm just gonna walk around going, Whoop it and my pasta maker. That's gonna fucking send me. If I have to listen to you all day long just saying my pasta maker in the Bane voice, I'm gonna freaking lose it. It's gonna be hilarious, but I'm gonna freaking lose it. Oh god, there's two spiders. Two spi- Ah! Get out of here! Go to the exit. You're gonna miss the exit. Great, get in there. Prepare yourself because it's happening. Oh my god. It's gonna be too much. Too much. Yeah, we have to call either tonight or some other time and figure out everything that we're doing. The idea of having kids just for a cosplay is batshit insane. Well, I'm never gonna have kids anyway. But you know, if I... If I ever commandeered, <laughs> just commandeer somebody else's kids for a day, being like, I want to take your kids on a on a fun little adventure and excursion, but they need to dress up in a certain way, so that I know they're they're your kids and that I don't lose them. That would be funny as hell. Is this the right way? I hope this is the right way. Ooh, more rope! <gasps> Climbing gloves! We'll take both. Thank you very much. I don't want that. Teleporter nonsense. I mean, it's not so bad. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, if you video call me, then you get to see the uh, Mr. Man who's sleeping so good over here. Hi, baby. Oh, big stretch. He's been really stressed out with other people being in the house, so I think he's he's really happy to be back in his element. Ow, what just happened there? Hello? I tried to put down the teleporter and it just exploded fucking everything. What just happened? Well, I guess we're starting over again. God damn it. This is the best time waster game ever where I just get to sit and talk to you guys. Cause it's not like I'm ever gonna fucking win this game. That's just not gonna happen. Why don't you just take Bowie and dress him as a school kid and boom, the child? No. No. He has much, much too much anxiety to ever be out in public in such a manner. That is not going to happen. Because he's just not going to let it happen. He's not... He is not okay to do that. It would be very cute to have Bowie out and about to meet everybody. He is not a social animal. He is not comfortable with any of that. He's just a baby. That is who my Bowie is. Just a baby. I'm sure one day I will have a social enough animal 
That that could be possible, but uh, not with Bowie. No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen. I wish it could. Really wish. And you know, our our visitor had fun doing their best to try and get Bowie to love them, but you know, just not in the cards. Not gonna happen. Oh shit! It's already past six. Well, I can play for another round until I die. Here's to hoping I don't die right away. No. God damn it, I just wasted that. I thought I could finagle it. That's okay, whatever. You might want to bring a pillow and a blanket. You're, you got it. I, I can do that. Yo, you don't even know. I, I won't share it on stream, but when we call later, got something fun to share that I think you're going to enjoy as a little Easter egg. I would like your rope. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Ma, ma, what? Maybe also a swimsuit because of the. I thought you were just saying ma, ma. Okay, I was gonna say let me take that hit. Yeah, I can probably do that. It also depends on just how much energy we're gonna have after the convention. <laughs> Not ma ma. <laughs> Depends how much energy we'll have after the convention and being out all day too. How much swimming do I want to do after the fact? But we will we will discuss this in a video call in like a little bit. I can't afford the. Lady, give me a gosh darn minute. Yay, into the exit she went. Ow, seriously? Get away from- Ow, 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 seriously? God damn it. I got too bold! I be doing too much. That's on me. Well, I tried. It happens. That's okay. July, howdy. Lord Theo, you came at the wrong time. I'm literally wrapping up stream right now. <laughs> you really tried, though! You really tried. That's okay. What a, it's fine. It's fine. We're just wrapping up. We're getting ready to go. Ugh. You know what? While we're here, I'm just gonna grab... Oh, is it here? Is it here? No, it's not. Wrapping up June rap music. When do you... <laughs> I mean, I could do a karaoke where it's all rap songs. I probably could. I don't know if I want to, but I probably could. Um, where is it? Before I go, just one final, final little reminder, y'all. This upcoming Saturday, I will be at Fan Expo Cleveland. Uh, I will be there only on Saturday. I cannot be there for the other days. I'm sorry, it's just not. I got work, I got stuff I gotta do. Um, but it will be on Saturday. I'm going to assume that the time will be after three because there is a panel that I want to go to that happens like around three or four o'clock. 
So it'll be after that. Probably. Honestly, maybe instead of meeting at the at the expo, I know they're also hosting um what's it? All you can play pinball at Super Electric. And as long as you have the the pass from the from the expo, then you get to play free all you can play pinball. Oh my god, I just dropped something. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> But yeah, depending on the timing, you know, I'll, I'll tweet about it. I'll post community posts about it so that y'all can find me or whatever. And we can have a good time. But I'm assuming it will be after 3. It'll probably be after 3 o'clock. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's fine. We'll figure it out. It's fine. It fit a little nicer, but... Okay, well, it's, uh, good enough. It's good enough. It's Saturday. Come out to Fan Expo Cleveland. Come say hi. <laughs> I do not have a schedule yet for next week because I don't know. I'll be coming home on Sunday, but I don't know what time I'll be home. So best to just keep an eye on community. Ta I feel so bad that I don't have anything prepared, y'all. The very last minute. I don't know. I don't fucking know. FT time? Yes. Yes, it is. But anyway, until whenever I post that I will be streaming again and have a schedule and everything else, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, your morning, your afternoon, your evening, whatever it might be, wherever you are. And I will see you guys at Fan Expo, hopefully. I'll see however many of you that I can at Fan Expo. And if not, then I'll see you the next time I go stream. It's nice seeing you today. I'm glad that you're doing well. Take care of myself. Thank you, Mini Me. Bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.